Hi everyone, this is Sebastian Western with the National Weather Service in San Diego. Uh, I'm here to provide a quick weather outlook for um, the next week in Southern California, as well as a climate outlook uh, for this upcoming winter. So a few of the things that we'll talk about, um, last week was unusually cool and wet for this time of year for the region. We had cold upper level air that made its way from the Gulf of Alaska down to Southern California, which brought about much colder temperatures, um, rain, um, thunderstorms, and even some light snow um, in the highest elevations of Southern California on the peaks. Also, um, for next week, we anticipate uh, to have near to slightly above average temperatures. Um, this should last at least into the next week potentially longer as we see that there's a ridge developing and persisting in the Four Corners region. Uh, and then we'll briefly talk about the CPC uh, newest outlook showing that there's a higher probability of below average precipitation for Southern California given the um, potential La Nina pattern that we could see. So um, this is a chart of last week's temperatures and we, we can see that uh, for the majority of Southern California, or all of Southern California, temperatures were well below average. Some areas seeing uh, temperatures as much as 10 degrees Fahrenheit below average for uh, the entire week. And this, again, was indicative of the upper level cold air that we received from the Gulf of Alaska that made, it, made its way down into Southern California and brought about uh, much colder air for, for all regions than what we'd see this time of year. Uh, if we are to look at the synoptic environment for the United States right now, we can see that outside of the new development of a tropical storm uh, into a potential hurricane out in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, that for the moment being that the weather is pretty quiet throughout the U.S., we have a heat advisory in the Bay Area and we have uh, an excessive heat watch in Arizona and We'll, we'll talk about that in a second, about how that's the, we're going to see the development of a, uh, a ridge in the Four Corners region. Uh, for, for some of you, you may have noticed that this morning was rather foggy. There, um, this is uh, at almost 1,000 feet elevation in the San Diego area, um, pretty much a, little, a few hundred feet above uh, the cloud bases. We saw this from on top of uh, Palomar Mountain, I believe. Um, and you can see that the valleys are filled in with, with fog um, at the lower elevations. Um, so those areas are were impacted this morning by patchy fog. Um, you can also see this here. This is a shot from Fallbrook looking south. Um, and you can see the upper layer of fog uh, impacting the region. So one thing of note is that uh, for the next uh, few mornings, we anticipate seeing low patchy fog impacting areas that um, where the fog interacts with the terrain. And so just to be careful uh, in the morning uh, with, with the commute. So this is what the upper level synoptics will look like for the next few days. So we can see Tuesday that trough associated with the weather that we got last week is now moving east and it's allowing for a ridge to build up in the west. Um, and Wednesday we can see that the ridge is more developing uh, in the inner mountain west and um, you have a little trough here that um, is keeping the coastal areas of California relatively cool. Uh, relative to uh, this inner mountain region. Um, but then Friday, again, that that lobe of low pressure um, is, is sort of gone and, and the um, upper level ridge has sort of expanded. Um, this just to show that uh, although temperatures will increase um, as a result of this um, little trough here, uh, they might not increase uh, as much to a level that would bring uh, dangerous heat. So we just expect to see slightly above average temperatures for the region. 
So these are the high temperatures for the coming week. Um, this is Tuesday. Uh, we anticipate seeing um, upper 80s and low um, and mid 90s for inland areas. Um, still hot in the deserts, um, seeing temperatures in the mid hundreds, uh, but for the coast, uh, very manageable, low 80s, uh, upper 70s, very typical for this time of year. Um, the heat sort of backs away a little bit inland for Wednesday, uh, and, and Thursday temperatures are about near average. So the point of this being that the temperatures are hovering um, just a few degrees above average. In some areas, they, um, especially for the coast, they're about average. Um, looking at the 6 to 10 day temperature outlook, we can see that uh, the ridge that forms in the Four Corners region uh, is still prevalent, and um, CPC is, is thinking that it's going to uh, stay around. But for Southern California, I anticipate the temperatures to be about the same as for the next upcoming week. So slightly above average, um, but for the most part, manageable heat. So now talking about the upcoming winter season. Um, so the Climate Pred Prediction Center is issuing a La Nina watch uh, as of a little more than a week ago, um, seeing that the temperature anomalies in the um, in the Pacific, in the tropical, in the equatorial Pacific, are starting to trend below average. And as you can see here, uh, the average of the models is, is indicating we could get into at least weak La Nina territory by uh, November, December, and potentially for some of the models that are going, um, that, are in, that are a little bit more bullish on the La Nina, we could see potentially a, mod, a moderate La Nina. But for now, I would anticipate um, that it is more likely that we'd get a weak La Nina. And so the yielding now, this uh, seasonal prediction uh, precipitation uh, outlook, um, this sort of is in uh, for uh, October through December of this year. Uh, so for late fall, early uh, winter, and this is sort of the developing of a pretty, of a relatively classic La Nina signal uh, where you can have drier than average anomalies for Southern California uh, and a good portion of the Southern United States, in this case, mostly just the Southwestern United States. Uh, and then you have the above average precipitation anomalies for uh, the Pacific Northwest and um, the Great Lake regions. So um, that is the weather outlook for the this week. Uh, and feel free to reach out uh, to us on Slack, X, YouTube, or Facebook. Take care.